You are welcome to Psych 224, which is Introduction to Experimental Psychology. So I'm briefly going to go over what you, I'll be teaching you in this course. So for this session, what I'm going to do is to talk about the various topics that I'll be discussing with you for the 13 weeks of lectures. I would also um, want to talk briefly about plagiarism and then make you aware of the University of Ghana plagiarism policy and introduce you to the Sakai learning and management platform which you'll be using a lot. So for this brief section, the goals and objectives are to outline the content of the course and the expected outcomes. And again, as I said, be familiar with the University of Ghana plagiarism policy and also how to maneuver your way around on the Sakai learning platform. So I'll talk about the course content, plagiarism at the University of Ghana and the Sakai LMS platform. So for this course, I'll start with session one by talking about what experimental psychology is. So briefly, I'll give you a history of how this field of psychology developed. Then I will talk about what an experiment is. In the second section, I will talk about sources of acquiring knowledge. So there are several ways in, through which we can acquire knowledge or obtain information. Now, in as much as there are several ways of acquiring inf um, knowledge, there's only one source that we psychologists resort to in our work. So I'll talk about the various sources of acquiring knowledge and I'll focus on the scientific method. For section three, I'll talk about the nature of scientific methodology. So basically, what is a theory? What is a hypothesis? I'll distinguish between basic and applied science. And as part of this session also, I'll talk about the characteristics of the scientific method as well as the steps that are used in scientific methodology. Then we'll move on to section four. In this section, I'll talk about variables and terms that are used in experimentation. So as although it's one section, it's going to be in two parts. So first of all, I'll talk about the variables that are used in experimentation. So basically, there are three of them, independent variables, um, dependent variables, and extraneous variables. Those are the variables that you come across ever so often when you're talking about experimentation. Then I'll talk about terminologies that are used in experimentation as well. So things that you have to be familiar with, terms you have to be familiar with, such as what is a sample, what is a population, etc. In section five, I'll talk about true experimental designs. So in this session, I'll define what a tr true experiment is. Um, I'll also talk about the types of experimental or research settings that are available to psychologists. And then I'll talk about the types of true experimental designs. With that, I'll begin with the between participant design. Then I'll move on to talk about the factorial design in the part two of the session five and talk about the within participant design as well. For session six, I'll talk about quasi-experimental um, research designs as well as faulty experimental research designs. So I mentioned earlier on that in section five, I'll talk about true experimental designs. There's a distinction between true experimental designs and quasi-experimental designs. And so I would make that distinction clear to you, as well as distinguishing between faulty experimental designs and true experimental designs. In section seven, I'll talk about extraneous variables. So extraneous variables are basically variables in an experiment that um, is not of interest to the experimenter but can affect the outcome of a study and for that reason as an experimenter or a researcher you would have to control these extraneous variables so i'll talk about the various types of extraneous variables basically put them in three categories so we have the general extraneous variables we have the participant effect and then the experimental effects for section eight I will talk about how to control these extraneous variables that I have just mentioned. So we have basic control techniques, and then we have controlling for participant effects as well as experimental effect. And then that takes us to section nine. In section nine, I'll talk about descriptive research methodologies. So I mentioned earlier on in section five, I'll talk about true experimental designs. So we have 
the experimental research methods and then we have the non-experimental research methods. And the non-experimental research methods are those that are also referred to as the descriptive research methodology. So I'll talk about these methodologies. So basically, what is a case study, what is an archival study, the survey method. Then I'll go on to talk about naturalistic observation and then developmental research designs, correlational research, and finally, qualitative research. I'll, I just want you to know that with this session, is going to be brief because the focus of this course is experimental research designs and not non-experimental research designs. In section 10, I'll talk about ethics in psychological research. So this will be part one, and then I'll talk about the part two in the next session. So in our research as psychologists, we may be testing human participants or animal subjects, and there are rules or there are ethics governing the use of human participants in research, how psychologists are to supposed to treat um, humans with dignity and ensure their welfare. So I'll talk about these ethical guidelines. Then I'll talk about ethical guidelines governing research with animal participants. So again, as I mentioned, we test human subjects, we, set, we test animal subjects as well. But there's a difference in terms of the guidelines governing the use of human participants and animal subjects. So in this session, I'll talk, I'll focus on animal subjects. Then I'll end by talking about scientific misconduct or scientific fraud. In the final section of this session of this course, I'll talk about writing a research report. I'll start by talking about how to do a literature search. Then I'll talk about writing a research report. So in a nutshell, this is what the course Psych 224, Experimental Psychology, will focus on.